Mindfulness is about waking up. I would argue that if you are not in a state of mindful awareness, then you are asleep. You're, you're not experiencing the world as it is, you are experiencing a dream. A dream that exists only in your head, where the world is experienced through your perceptions, through your judgments, through your beliefs, through your story of you. It exists nowhere other than between your two ears. That's not reality. That's a, that's a perception of reality. And by very definition, a perception is a perversion of the truth. It's, it's per perverted by your mental framework. So I would argue if that you're not mindful, if you're, if you're not in a state of meditation, then you are living in a dream. You, you are asleep. So, so meditation is about waking up to the full spectrum of your experience. What else is mindfulness? Attaining the mastery of all things. Mastery of all things. Attaining the mastery of all things. It is. Because, because to master all things, you, you must first be a master of yourself. That's, that's the key to mastery. It's, it's all self-mastery. Uh, and in order to master yourself, you must be aware of yourself. You must be conscious of your thoughts, conscious of your emotions, and conscious of your pre-programmed patterns of behaviour, your instinctive, unconscious responses. It's not until we're mindful we're able to observe ourselves do we have any real self-control. If you're not aware of your thoughts, if you're not aware of your feelings, then how can you control yourself? How can you manage yourself? You're, you're trying to operate from a place of ignorance and responding through our perceived reality. So yes, it's, it's, it's mastery, self-mastery. What, what else is mindfulness? What else is mindfulness? Conscious awareness. Conscious awareness. Conscious awareness. Who you are. Is that two different things? Is that the same thing? Consciously aware, yeah. It's, it's the same thing, conscious awareness. What do I mean by awareness? Because that's a strange idea. You see, all, all, all true meditation is, is aiming to achieve, if you can have an aim in meditation, and, and I'm really not sure that you can, maybe meditation has no aim, and that's precisely the point. But, but if there was an aim to meditation, it is to achieve or to develop a state of awareness. A, a state of intelligence, a new state of intelligence. What am I talking about here? Is this madness? A new state of intelligence? What, what's awareness? Can anybody tell me what awareness is? Form of enlightenment. Form of enlightenment, yes. To, to, I think to live conscious, continually in a state of awareness in some parts of the world they might call enlightenment. I think other parts of the world it might get you locked up. <laughs> Awareness. You see, this is my challenge. I, I can't teach you awareness. Is it focus? Focus. Yeah, focus of attention. Yeah, it is. Focusing attention. <coughs> That's what mindfulness is about. Focusing attention. Choosing where you put your attention rather than your attention being voluntarily distracted. But in order to do that, you have to have awareness. It all comes back to the same thing. In order to do all of these things, you must be aware. You must be conscious of yourself. Now what do I mean by that? How can I, I, I see I can't teach you awareness and, and this is my challenge because awareness can't be taught in the way that most things are taught. You, you, it's not like something you learn at school or you could learn at university. Because awareness is, is a state of being that is available to you when you are not thinking. So if, so, if you, so if you are distracting, if you're destroying mindfulness to the point of thought, if you are to, to an understanding, if you're reducing it to an understanding, you're missing the point. 
Because mindful awareness is only available to you when you're not understanding. Because understanding is just more thinking. Awareness is a space of no thought. A space of quiet. It's, it's a state of being, it's, it's an experience. So, so, so to conceptualise it is to lose it. Now, you, you could do a PhD on mindfulness, and I'm sure lots of people have, and I'm sure that's a, a very interesting and wonderful and, and terrifically valuable piece of work. But it's not mindfulness. Mindfulness is what happens when you're not doing PhDs. Hey. <laughs> Easier than you thought. Eh? It's much more like learning to ride a bike than doing a PhD. Now, you, you could do a PhD on bike riding, couldn't you? You could study the aerodynamics of bikes, you could, you could study saddles, you could, you, could, you could do a degree in chemistry into the composites of the rubber, you, of the tyres. You could, you could understand that bike in infinite detail. You could spend your whole life understanding cycling and never be able to cycle. Yeah. Would that PhD in cycling help you ride a bike? Would it improve your balance? Would it improve your fitness? No, it's a PhD on bike riding. Bike riding is quite simple. You get on, you wobble a bit, you fall off, you get on, you wobble a bit, you fall off, and then, and then you find your balance, and from then on it's just pretty much pushing the pedals. PhD is going to kind of weigh you down when you're riding a bike. So, so I'm not saying that that kind of intellectual study isn't valuable, of course it is, it's all very important, but, but it's not mindfulness. And that's not what I'm here to teach you this weekend. So if you, if you leave this weekend understanding what I've taught you, then I failed. Because however elaborate and detailed and intelligent your understanding, that's not it. And that's not what I'm here to teach you this weekend.